Dub Nation, Dub Nation. Look at where we are at. I told you guys we were gonna utilize this space and it starts now. A-Dub Productions. Thank you for joining me, it's your boy King, Alan Alexander, A-Dub Productions, Alan Wade in real life. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video for you guys and answer some questions that you guys have been asking me in the comment sections of the more recent videos. So I want to do this, something different that I'm gonna try on the channel, answering some questions in a video form instead of just typing it back to you guys to get more personal and build more of a relationship with you guys. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if it's your first time visiting. Don't forget to go to facebook.com backslash kingadub and facebook.com backslash productions and like both of those pages. We are building those pages up also, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram also at productions. Alan Wade on Instagram, guys. So let's get into the first question. Let's check it out. Adub Productions. These questions aren't from like a specific video, they're from a group of a bunch of uh, random videos. Uh, three syllables asks, three syllables shouts out to you, uh, asks, can you make a silhouette cameo playlist for all silhouette cameo three videos? It'll help a lot, it'll be easier for beginners to begin to watch and get um, up to speed. Yes, I can make a playlist. I thought that um, how to make money selling t-shirts was a playlist for the silhouette cameo three and all that stuff, but Obviously, it's not so I'm gonna make a playlist and just for you guys and um, Put all the silhouette cameo videos in that one playlist so it could be easier to find guys And uh, also let me know if there's any videos that you guys want to see that are not up on my channel And I'll be sure to make those videos coming soon. I got a video coming soon for you guys uh, that with the holidays coming up and everything uh, Fun group activities that you guys can do with your kids. So stay tuned for that all right, next question, guys. Next question comes from Precious Jackson. I have the same machine. Do I have to have the software to use the embroider machine? Will the machine allow me access to embroider? I'm not sure exactly what that second part means. Will the machine allow me access to embroider? But yes, um, you do kind of have to have software to use the PE600, but it does come with some built-in software that you can use for the program. I mean, for the embroidering, comes with uh, loaded with uh, text and a few designs that are in there, so you, you can use that. But when you get bored with those, if you want custom designs, then you are going to have to have some embroidery software. And like I said, which is probably my number one question that I get asked in all my embroidery videos, what design studio what what uh, digitizing software do I use what software do I use I use brother PE design 10 as everybody should know by now I use brother PE design 10 to make all my embroidery designs and I go ahead and I digitize them stitch by stitch part by part of each design that I make so that is the design that I um, that, that is the software that I use will the machine will machine allow me to access to embroider uh, I'm gonna say when you make your designs using the software, uh, you put your design on a memory card, on a memory stick, and you load that memory stick into the side of the machine of the PE seven uh, PE six hundred, and the machine allows you access to your uh, embroidery embroidery designs. I hope that uh, answered that question, guys. Let's get into the next question. Let's see what we got here. Whoo! Getting hot out there. The sun is vicious. Had to dip inside the car for a second to finish this video. Next question is from Nick George. Nick George asked, um, should you cut the thread that links to one section to another? Yes, when you are embroidering, you do have to cut the thread that links from one section to another or else your design is gonna have obviously thread all, all through it. You see me in my videos, when I do my embroidery, um, when the machine goes from, for example, from, in my case, A dub, A to the D, um, the stitch, the thread between the A and the D, yes, that has to be cut because it would look a mess if it wasn't cut. So I hope that answers your question, Nick. Nick, um, shouts out to Nick. He um, paid for some a small consultation, a 25, uh, what was it? A, a, 
half an hour consult consultation we did. We did a half an hour consultation. So that is something that I do if you guys ever want to talk to me and have a bunch of questions, you guys can hit me up. Contact me at adubproductions at gmail.com and uh, I can send you guys a cash app or a PayPal link and you guys can pay for the consultation and I will talk to you for a half an hour to an hour depending on how long we need to talk and what advice you guys need from me. Okay, so Nick had another question. What do I do with the bobbin thread on it when I finished a stitch piece? I'm not sure exactly what that means. Do I unwind all the thread and throw it away? I'm not sure what you're asking, Nick, but what I'm gonna say is, it's Nikki actually, Nikki George. Um, what I'm gonna say is, uh, when you're done a design and you have, when you're done a design, first of all, you're done a design. That doesn't mean you have to take the bobbin thread out of the machine. So you can leave the bobbin thread inside of the machine if you're done that design to use for the next design. Now, if the bobbin thread is running low, you can take the bobbin thread out of the machine, take the access thread off of the, off the bobbin, uh, small bobbin, throw that thread away, and then um, rewind that bobbin. And I have videos on how to wind bobbins, so you guys can check that out if you need to know how to wind a bobbin. I'll probably put a link to that video right here for you guys, so you guys can check that out. Um, Nick, I hope that answered your question, um, Nikki. Uh, Oh yeah, and if you're talking about at the top where the thread is, the thread, you just change the thread colors according to what you need. But sometimes like, I don't know, other digitizers, other embroiderers can uh, chime in on this in the comment section down below. When you are doing an embroidery, I typically just use white thread, but the best practice, which is not really practical because you'd be constantly switching bobbins, I would say is to use the color, the same color bobbin as thread that you're using. It'll be really, really tedious and time consuming, but you can do that. That's an option. I don't do it personally, but if you were doing a one color design or two color designs, I guess it wouldn't be that difficult to switch out the bobbin if you have a bobbin that's wound that's color, in that color that you're using, guys. Sorry about this, guys. So Dub Nation, that's it for today. That's all the questions I'm gonna answer for today. If you guys have any questions regarding any of the stuff that I talk about, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make another video just like this to answer all your questions. Guys, it's your boy King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Don't forget to follow me on facebook.com backslash King A Dub and facebook.com backslash A Dub Productions. Let's get those follows and subscribes up. I need 10,000. I need 10,000 on Facebook on each page, guys. It's going to be really, really hard. So I need you guys to follow. Also, don't forget to visit the merch store at alanaway.com. Buy some channel merch, help support the channel. Don't forget when you're watching these videos, so don't skip the ads. Watch all the ads all the way through, guys. It helps the channel out a lot once again happy with our growth hopefully we can hit 10,000 before the end of the year and when we do we are going straight to the YouTube space to see what it's all about guys I'm gonna give you an in-depth close and personal the most detailed video of the YouTube space that you've ever seen on YouTube guys so make sure you stay tuned for that make sure you stay, stay subscribed for that I got a bunch of guys a bunch of people that are watching my content that are not subscribed to the channel I need all y'all to go subscribe I think about 98% of the people to watch this, these videos are not subscribed to the channel. I need all of you guys to subscribe if I'm going to get to my goal of 10,000 subscribers. And I've been talking about this for years, visiting that YouTube space, and we are 4,000 shy. Actually, let's say 3,000, because we're pretty much at 7,000 subscribers already. So let's say we're 3,000 subscribers shy of our 10,000 subscriber goal, guys. I never thought I'd get this far, I'll be honest with you guys, but it's all because of you. If you guys weren't watching videos, if you guys weren't um, interacting with me, I wouldn't be making them. Um, I probably, I probably would be making them cause I never quit, but like, I wouldn't, you know, be pumping out this much content for you guys if it wasn't for the, um, you know, the interaction with you guys. So, uh, thank you guys a lot for that. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one, man. It's your boy, King A-Dub. Stay tuned for some more content, some more embroidery videos coming up and some new PE Design Studio 10 tutorials, whole new series coming up for your boy, from your boy. It's your boy, Alan Wade, I'm out, peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?